uh, about 2017, he said, I think I've got it pinpointed. He went over and founders and drilled a hole and he found it. And so he said, we're not gonna touch it till 2019, uh, which would be 50 years. I met Doc about uh, shortly after I came to work here in 2012. Then uh, shortly after that, he started telling me that there was a time capsule. And uh, he went on this search looking for this, uh, any information he could find on a time capsule. He thought they molded it out of uh, a can that uh, tennis balls came in. So that's what he based his dimensions on. And so I um, made him one. He took it to Dr. Jameson and, and then the excitement started. You could just see the twinkle in his eye. Came in Monday, and uh, I uh, I called Sam, and I said, Sam, we're still doing this thing on Wednesday, and he said, absolutely. So uh, we came in 5:30 in the morning, and uh, we went over there and and uh, we dug it up. Yeah, it is. This is it. And it was covered with tar. And I was trying to figure out what I could use to get that off because it was lid, it was real soft. And lo and behold, I just looked down in the cabinet and there was a can that just said degreaser on it. So I sprayed it and the tar just fell off of it, just like magic. And, uh, and I said, that was Doc, he was here. It, it was threaded, screwed on both ends. One end contained a uh, microfilm, which had the charter of the original building. Then the other end contained a cesium chip with a paperwork time capsule to see how much radiation would deplete over a 50 year period. It was very, uh, very humbling, really, all the research he did to find it. Uh, it was humbling to be able to follow through and, and uh, knowing that, uh, you know, he wasn't here. Uh, I put his picture down there. It's rough. Uh, we got it done. I was really surprised when, when I was asked, did I know where the time capsule was? It's been now seven or eight years until I actually found it. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's been a long journey.